Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how plants are adapted to living in conditions where water is scarce. In particular the adaptations of cacti and marum grass. And this is for the OCR exam board. In the last video we looked at the factors that affect the rate of transpiration in plants. Remember that transpiration is the evaporation of water from the internal surface of a leaf, followed by the diffusion of the water vapour down its concentration gradient out of the leaf through the stomata. Now in order to photosynthesize, plants must allow carbon dioxide to diffuse into the leaf through the stomata. However, plants run the risk of losing too much water by transpiration. Now as we've seen, plants do have some adaptations to reduce water loss. For example, plants close their stomata at night when photosynthesis does not take place. Plant leaves also have a waxy cuticle which reduces water loss by evaporation. Now some plants have evolved to live in conditions where water is very scarce. Scientists call these plants xerophytes. We're going to look at two examples of xerophytes. These are cacti which are found in deserts and marum grass which is found in sand dunes. We're going to start by looking at the xerophytic adaptations of cacti. In many species of cacti, leaves have been replaced with fibrous spines, with photosynthesis taking place in the stem of the cactus. And in these cacti, the stomata are found on the surface of the stem. Replacing the leaves with spines reduces the surface area to volume ratio of the cactus, reducing water loss. The spines also trap moist air near the cactus, reducing the rate of transpiration, as well as providing some shade for the stem from the heat of the sun. Cacti also have a thick waxy cuticle to reduce evaporation of water. In cacti, the stomata are sunken into pits. This traps a layer of moist air around the stomata, reducing water loss by transpiration. Cacti only open their stomata at night to absorb carbon dioxide when conditions are relatively cool. The carbon dioxide is then used during the day for photosynthesis. By only opening stomata at night, cacti reduce water loss during the heat of the daytime. Cacti often have extensive shallow roots. This allows the cacti to absorb water after a rain shower before the water evaporates. Cacti can also have very deep roots to access water from lower levels of the soil. And finally, cacti can also store water in their stem. Plants which can store water like this are called succulents. Okay, now marum grass is found in sand dunes. In sand dunes, water is scarce and windy conditions can increase evaporation of water from plants. Marum grass have a number of adaptations to help them thrive in this environment. The leaves of marum grass can roll into a tube with the stomata on the inside. Moist air is trapped within the tube rather than being blown away by the wind. The stomata in marum grass are found in sunken pits with fine hairs projecting inwards towards the centre. These adaptations ensure that moist air is trapped around the stomata. This reduces the concentration gradient for water vapour between the air and the internal spaces between the leaf cells. And this reduces the rate of diffusion of water vapour out of the stomata. Marum grass also have a very thick waxy cuticle to reduce evaporation from the surface. And finally, the roots of marum grass can be very long, extending deep into the sand to find water. Marum grass also have extensive roots which are closer to the surface. These roots help the sand to retain water. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the xerophytic adaptations of cacti in marum grass. 